In this tutorial, I'll show you how to export this graph in multiple formats. You'll learn how to save the desired settings as a graph export theme for repeated use. This contour plot is drawn with speed mode on, meaning for screen speed redraw reasons, not all the data is plotted. To export the graph, I select File, Export Graphs. Origin provides a long list of export file formats that include both vector formats, such as EPS, PDF, and raster formats, such as JPEG, TIFF, and PNG. The default, which I'll select as EPS, is a popular vector format for submitting to publications. We're choosing to export the active graph, but the tool allows batch exporting, such as exporting all the graphs in the project. The file name will be the name of the graph, graph2 in this case. However, I can enter any name here I wish. And the file will be saved to the user files folder. Let's look at the export settings. Before I do that, we'll turn on the auto preview. Notice that the image shows all the data. The speed mode is off. The graph templates page setting by default disables speed mode for graphic export. However, if you choose, you can enable speed mode from the dialog. The default is to export the entire white area printable part of the page, but you can change this to tighten page, which will trim the white space around the border of the graph layer. I'm not going to expand the advanced branch as you seldom need to modify the default settings, and if you do, it's documented in the help file. Now let's look at the image size settings. The original graph's page size is picked up, so if nothing is changed, the output image will have that size. You can specify a different size. Let's go ahead and enter in a width of 3, click outside, and the fit height updates accordingly. Now the image settings vary depending on what file format was chosen. Let's expand the preview branch and just notice here that by default there's not going to be a preview in the EPS file. However, you have the option of either a TIFF or WMF preview if desired. Now that we've gone through the dialog settings, let's save these by clicking the arrow at the top next to Dialog Theme. We'll choose Save As and enter a name such as We'll click OK to save our theme and click OK to perform the export. The script window opens with a message with the file name and path of our EPS file. So let's browse to the User Files folder. And we'll see my contour graph. Let's view the file in Ghost View. If I now go back to Origin, we can hide the script window. Let's look at the File menu. And under Recent Exports, we're going to see both Last Used and my EPS export. So if I had another graph and selected my EPS export, that graph would be exported with the saved settings that include the custom width setting of 3 inches and the export graph dialog would not open. So this saves you time. You can just quickly export the next graph using those saved settings. However, if you do want to open the dialog to make some change, what you do is just hold down the shift key while clicking on the flyout menu. The export dialog opens with my EPS export theme loaded. Now let me go ahead and export this graph again as a raster file format. Let's say PNG, which is useful for putting up an image on a web page. Let's keep the same file name and path. For image size, I'm going to change the units to pixels and set the width to 800. In image settings, there's a DPI resolution, 
which is available for all raster formats, so one can specify both the size and the DPI. Setting both the DPI and size to a very high value can result in a very large file size. So for journal publications, you want to set the DPI high, such as 600, but then set the width to a suitable number, such as column width of the journal page, and that way you'll keep the file size manageable. Keeping with the idea that we're exporting, in this case, to put the image on the web, let's set the DPI to 72. At this point, I could save this as my PNG export. and click OK to perform the export. Again, the script window opens, informing us that the export was successful. Let's browse to our User Files folder. We now have both MyContourGraphEPS and MyContourGraph.png. Let's view the PNG in Paint. And if I look at Image Attributes, we'll see the width of 800 and the resolution of 72 dpi, so the settings that we had set in the graph export dialog. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.